Hello and welcome to Transformers Lore. Today, we're adding a new installment to the Many Names of Blank series. Last time, we took a look at the various ways to turn Otorupa into an English term. This time, let's take a look at the naming controversy of this fellow. This leader of the Decepticons first appeared in the Transformers Victory franchise under the name of Desuzarasu. Alright, pretty straightforward, but what do you call him in English? Well, we actually know the answer to this one too. Unfortunately, in English there are still multiple ways to say this character's name depending on the specifics. These names are Desaurus and Desaurus, but these names are only used on specific toy versions of the character and never in actual fiction. The most used and most correct name for this character in English is Deathsaurus. So that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thank you so much for- <laughs> wait. I wouldn't have this video if it was so short because I actually want to take a look at the original Japanese source and break it down and look at how alternate forms of the name came to being. In the early Transformers fandom, before his English name was solidified in canon, there were so many names thrown around for this guy, so let's take a closer look. Desuzarasu. For reference, if we were to romanize that, it would be as such. Remember what I said earlier about how vowels tend to follow consonants in Japanese? As a result, some simply removed the extra vowels, particularly the U, to form Desaurus. Indeed, Desaurus is what's written on the packaging for the figure, but remember what we said last time about the English on Japanese packaging? So, how did Deathsaurus come about? Well, the English word, death, can be transliterated into Japanese as des, and indeed that's what we have here. Saurus is an interesting case, being from Zarasu. Let's take a look at a non-Japanese word that ends in Saurus, like Tyrannosaurus. Well, the Japanese word is Tyrannosaurus. For those who can't read Japanese, here it is romanized. Interesting how Saurus seems to be another way to transliterate Saurus, and seemingly more official, or at least used more often. There are other ways that Tyrannosaurus can be transliterated, but they all end in Saurus, and not Zarus. That being said, the toy designer Kojin Ono has confirmed that the intended name was indeed Deathsaurus. Let's look at other ways to turn Desuzarasu into an English term. You'll see various people keeping the des means death factor in their translations, though some will stick to des and whatnot. Some might not bother getting rid of the last u syllable in zarasu. However, some in the fandom also developed an interesting idea about the word zar, also spelled zar, in the character's name. Some will argue that the best translation is death zaris, or any combination as long as zar is still held in the name. They will point to a motif that appears to be presented in the Decepticon cast of Victory, particularly the fact that a majority of the Decepticon cast are part of the combiners Dino King and Lyo Kaiser, with the exception of Death Saurus. Both King and Kaiser are present in their names. Both are titles of hereditary leadership like Zar, and to keep with the theme, Death Zarus should be Death Zarus, claiming this Za character represents the sound. Besides the fact that it's canonically wrong, those who support this theory might have a point. But if I could play devil's advocate, the Japanese word for czar is not made with the za sound, but rather is tsari with a tss sound. But again, to play devil's advocate with myself, you could also say that zadasu isn't exactly the common transliteration of saurus in Japanese either. However, at the end of the day, this theory has not been legitimized, and the canon name remains Death Saurus. That's going to wrap up today's episode of Transformers Lore. I do have other characters I intend to shed some light on on the oddities of their naming controversy, so stay tuned for more. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe if you like, follow me on social media for updates, and have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.